Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. Thank you so much for checking out the channel and for joining me on here. Just before we get started, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and you can also find me at my Patreon page. We have over 250 reaction videos there that do not and will never appear on YouTube. You can find the link to join in the description below. I feel like we spend so much time debating or arguing about what is the greatest musical theater show of all time. What is the greatest musical theater number of all time? There are a number to choose from in Hamilton that are maybe the best Hamilton numbers of all time, the best numbers that Lin-Manuel Miranda has ever written. But one debate we need to have is what is the best casting in musical theater history of all time. Chris Jackson may be the best actor now or ever that is going to play George Washington, and he proves it over and over again in this musical, but maybe nowhere better than in this incredible number. This is Chris Jackson performing one last time. Mr. President, you asked to see me. I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir? I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for his behavior. Shh. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes, he resigned. You can finally speak your mind. No. He's stepping down so he can run for president. Ha! Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? One last time. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight, and then we'll teach him how to say goodbye. To say goodbye, you and I. to talk about neutrality. Sir, with Britain and France on the verge of war, is this the best I time? I want to warn against partisan fighting. Pick up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No, one last time. The people will hear from me one last time. If we get this right, we're gonna teach them how to say goodbye. You and I. Mr. President, they will say you're weak. No, they will see we're strong. Position is so unique. So I'll use it to move them along. Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on. Lives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree moment alone in the shade at home in this nation we've made one last time one last time though in reviewing the incidents of my administration I am unconscious of intentional error I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion as I myself must soon be to the mansions of the rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens, the benign influence of good laws under a free government, the 
the favorite object of my heart. And the happy reward as I trust of our mutual games, neighbors, and angels. One last time. face god what a freaking performance jesus um yeah there's god there are so many things we need to talk about with this uh god i yeah absolutely chris jackson my god the man all right there are some comments we need to make let's go back to the beginning and uh and we'll watch it again mr president you asked to see me i know you're busy what do you need sir sir I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for his behavior. Shh. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes, he resigned. You can finally speak your mind. No. He's stepping down so he can run for president. Ha! Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I love this. The these two on stage together. I mean, they're good friends off stage. On stage together, they just it it's such it, it's such a magical scene between the two of them. They do play off each other uh really, really quite well. Um that's why, you know, new people coming into these roles, I've talked about it at nauseum before, new people coming into these roles, will they have that same chemistry? And does it come off? Does it just jump off the stage or jump off the screen in this case, uh, as much as it does with these two in it? I really hope it does uh, for the sake of people still spending how much uh, on tickets to watch this show. Look, I love the difference between, you know, there are problems. There are a lot of problems here of of really, you know, making George Washington seem like a cool president or making Washington, uh, you know, putting him up on this pedestal. There are dangers in that. I get it. He wasn't perfect. None of us are. Um, but this aspect here, I love that really Lynn focuses on celebrating this aspect of George Washington, that he was able to recognize that he needs to step away. You know, they removed themselves from from the British monarchy. You know, it's it's not a it's not a, a one person job until the day you die. Washington recognizes that and really needs to step away from it. And that is I know there's going to be maybe a lot of comments on this video of, of people saying that it, it's troubling to, to really look at George Washington in such a positive light. I get that aspect, but you also need to, to me, focus on just that for this number. Celebrate him for at least recognizing when and, and that he actually needs to, to be able to step away. One last time. Oh, that voice. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight and then we'll teach them how to say goodbye, to say goodbye, you and I. to talk about neutrality. Sir, with Britain and France on the verge of war, is this the best I time? I want to warn against partisan fighting. Pick up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No, one last time. The people will hear from me one last time. If we get the 
just right. I've always love that. That little break in his voice there is just so perfect. It, it makes it just so much more emotional and just kind of makes you fall for, for his voice even more. There are, you know, like I said at the top, there are perfect castings. Uh, and then there's this casting. There's just Lynn had to have had Chris in his mind the entire time when he's writing this role. I mean, from their days of In the Heights together, uh, like I said, they're good friends, but he had to have been able to visualize while writing this number yeah this is going to be chris I, I can just see chris absolutely taking this number to town and and boy does he ever the tone of that voice is just so smooth i it it is like i mean i'm a huge whiskey fan it it is like a the finest glass of whiskey that is just it's the only way i can describe it uh it's just so smooth and and goes down just perfectly gonna teach him how to say goodbye you and I. mr president they will say your way no they will see we're strong is so, so i'll use it to move them along why do you have to say goodbye if i say goodbye the nation learns to move on Lives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree moment alone in the shade at home in this nation we've made one last time i just love love seeing lynn in the background getting to watch chris at work here and and just what is he thinking in that moment of course yeah he's in character whatever at least i hope he is but in that moment is he just looking at chris being like man, I wrote something so special here and he is just taking it up to, to the stratosphere of, of, of what I thought was possible of this number. I really want to know what he's thinking in that moment because it is smart that the, the, the reference to speeches of, of George Washington's speeches and scriptures and, and just so many, so many things, so much, so much history and so much, uh, that, that Lynn compiles into this musical is just so smart and so special. And that's what makes it possibly you know one of the best pieces of art i've ever seen on stage and and you you may see for for quite a long time just points to to the brain that lynn has is just so smart the way he thinks and we're just so it you can't be anything but grateful the fact that we are alive at a time when lynn a mind like lynn is is giving us just art like this Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion. As I myself must soon be to the mansions of the rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens, the benign influence of good laws under a free government, the ever favorite object of my life. It is, like I've said this entire number, it is something special to be able to, you know, someone like, if you look at maybe Hamilton's character, maybe wouldn't have have it in him to really step up and say, look, 
Someone else has got to lead us. Someone else has to take over. There needs to be a new point of view uh, in this country that that really, you know, that that because like he says, the country is going to outlive you when you're gone. There needs to be a new voice and a new direction. It is what you know, I don't want to get too political. I don't, I don't know what you, whatever you think, whatever your impressions are of 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 the U.S. political system. It is a, a pillar of democracy that really has, has yet to waver, you know, as divided as the country maybe is currently, especially, um, it, they stand true. They stand true by, by honoring election results. They stand true by not wavering from this, from, from the policies and, and the way of choosing their government they've put out from the beginning. They do not waver from that as imperfect as it may be it maybe represents the true will of the people. And right now, the true will of the people, I didn't want to get political. Right now, the true will of the people is is entirely divided. And as much as that is painful to watch, it's also okay. It's also the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to allow the citizens to voice their opinion the way they see fit. And and that, you know, and, and a lot of times it, it is going to be 50-50. It's, it's almost right down the middle that, that so many people think one way and so many people think another way. All that to say that this man should be remembered as, as the one president who did not let power or corruption go to his head. That he was able to step down, uh, you know, after freeing themselves from the, the king that, that we look at in this show. Freeing themselves from that, that he's able to... To, to step out of himself, look at the whole country and say, you need a new voice. I've, I've done all I can to bring you to this point. Now it's time for someone else to, to, to step in and take over. And that's a very difficult thing to do. It, in, in, it doesn't have to be a, a, the presidency. It doesn't have to be such a, a high position as that in any position. You know, it, it takes someone special to be able to step down and say, Maybe I don't have all the answers. Maybe I need some help here. Maybe there's someone else who can come in who can do this better. All right, let's let the man close out our final video one last time. Say goodbye, say goodbye